Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how to build a mobile friendly app, an app which is built on UiPath App Studio and anywhere you open, any mobile you open, it should be able to appear properly in the mobile screens. So let's see how to do that. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing we will do, we'll click on the build new app and we're going to give it a name. Let's say I'm going to give it a name called mobile app. I'm going to click on create. Okay, so I am on a blank page. I will select this and I'm going to click on select. Okay. All right. Now in this blank page, I would teach you what are those small, small things that you need to know around the building a mobile app. Now for this, first of all, I'll go to a container and I'm going to select container. There are two kinds, container layout and container. Remember the container layout is by default designed to fit into various kinds of width and height. The container one wherein you have to make a bit of adjustments. Okay. So let me show you the container one and also let you know the properties. Those are important. Now let's let's look at this one. Okay. In this one, uh, this is a container. It's, there are two kinds of things. Okay. One is container layout and this one is a container, simple container. I'm going to show you the container layout also and the properties around that. So container. Now here I'm going to add, let's say, some three um, text boxes. Okay. One. And I'm going to drag the next. Remember, if you highlight the container and go to style, by default vertical, that means what would happen? What is the meaning of that? You need to understand. The moment I drag and drop another icon, in the container, what happens? It automatically arranges itself vertically. Remember, and this is happening because of the layout. Here we have selected the uh, style, select the container, and here you would find highlight the container because it is vertical. It is anytime you are dragging and dropping, it is coming in a vertical order. What I will do? I want in a horizontal order. Let's say so. I will select horizontal. Okay. Now you can see the same thing has organized itself in a horizontal way. Let me add one more button. So you are understanding the difference how it happens. Now I'm going to drag and drop another button, uh, not a button, a similar text box. You can also uh, do a copy paste, copy paste. Okay. So now there are three different text boxes. Now for the first one, let me name it um, first name. And for the second one, let me name it as middle name. And here the third one, let me name it as last name. Okay. So th this text boxes are organized in a horizontal way. Now there is a high chances when you open this kind of a app in a mobile, right? Any other mobile devices like iPhone, Samsung, any devices that you open, it might, you might have seen a couple of older sites wherein it doesn't show up completely, right? Now to do this in UiPath App Studio, some of the properties that you should be aware. Okay. What is the property? First, let's highlight this. Okay. Once you highlight this on the right hand, uh, there is something called style. Okay. Go to the style on the right hand side. And there are two options here. Allow wrapping and allow scrolling. Wrapping means what? Based on the width and size, it will automatically wrap like you have seen in the notepad. When you enable the wrap text, automatically it wraps out, right? The same thing is going to happen here. But the moment you highlight, and this will happen for the container, not for the container layout. Container layout by default it will happen, okay? So what is that? I am going to talk about the container layout later. Now let's look at container. In the container, if you keep your mouse pointer, it says specify width to enable. It is saying, hey, enable the width. I'll tell you one more thing. The moment I'll highlight the container. I will select vertical. Then it will say, see the, the message will change. Then it's saying specify height to enable. I mean, you have to have a fixed height for width. If you have, you need to have a fixed, you know, it is telling for wrapping, you should have any, you should have enabled a proper specific width. So what is that? So I wanted to do it horizontal. Okay. Horizontal. And here, this is not allowing me to type it. And it's telling me, hey, you have to go and enable the width, specify the width. You have to specify the width. So scroll down. Scroll down and here uh, I have something called size. Okay, size. 
and here there is something called width now remember how to work on this particular property first thing you need to remove this x because you are doing horizontally it is saying you have to specify the width so i am going to remove it and here first you x out of it okay first you x out then type 100 here and click somewhere outside so what would happen by doing this the, here you will see it is saying 100 percentage the width is fixed now you know you have specified a width 100 percent of the width you are saying okay now if you go up it is it will allow you to select this allow wrapping okay and the second option that is there allow scrolling let's say there are too many buttons you want to scroll then you need to allow that also allow scrolling and allow wrapping so you got how to adjust the property you have understood now let me hit on preview okay let me hit on preview okay this is how it will appear now if if you open it in a mobile how it will appear how do you check on your computer that is important for that once you have it in the preview mode right click and click on inspect right click on anywhere on the page and right and do inspect now once you inspect here do you see a small button okay kind of phone button this should be enabled okay if you if, if i click once it is enabled you know it will have a small blue kind of a highlight so once it is enabled now look at how this is going to appear i am going to change different phones for example i am saying iphone se how it is going to appear in iphone se this is how it is going to appear if i am going to change to iphone 12 pro this is how it is going to appear if i am going to select it to let's say ipad this is how it is going to appear in ipad it has a you know it is appearing properly now let's say if i select surface pro 7 so this is how it is going to appear and if i select let's say galaxy fold this is how it is going to appear getting it so it is giving you a uh, you know how it is going to appear is going to give you a, a complete view so no, now you have got the entire view how it is appearing now the next thing uh, what i'm going to show you how it acts on a container layout let me show you if i drag and drop a container layout so what the documentation says in in the case of container layout control the containers insights are automatically mobile friendly so anything that you add put inside the container layout all the controls will be automatically mobile friendly if the controls inside the containers need to be reactive as well now the term came reactive so in a web page what is the meaning of reactive when a element of the web page let's say text box you know it will it, you want it to automatically update let's say you click on a notification so the notification count goes down automatically so automatically refresh happens you know the data comes from the server and automatically the refresh happens if you want your controls to be reactive as well right use the allow wrapping prop property so here all i have to do if i need those kind of thing then i need to click on allow wrapping allow scrolling so i i think there won't be any harm by enabling them when you are going for a container layout all right so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye